A lot of people wonder, what is ayahuasca? It's a fluid, powerfully psychoactive potion from the Amazon made from two different plants, made from a vine that is rich in compounds that we know as MAO inhibitors and a leaf that's rich in a psychoactive agent called DMT. And when you put them together and you drink small quantities of this stuff, all heaven breaks loose in your head. That's ayahuasca. How does ayahuasca work? Really good question. We don't know, but we have a lot of indicators uh, on, a, on a neurochemical level. It appears to help to reset healthy levels of important compounds in the brain called neurotransmitters, especially serotonin, our sort of feel-good chemical, and dopamine, our reward-pleasure chemical. These things are very important to mental well-being. But additionally, if you accept the shamanic point of view about ayahuasca, it is plant spirit medicines. So the, sp the spirits of the plants actually acting as doctors, as capable, highly skilled, multi-billion year old genetic, you know, physicians of extraordinary complexity and background come to bear upon the situation at hand, which in your, the case of an ayahuasca ceremony is your brain and work on you to resolve traumas, to break through uh, problems in life that keep us from being happy, that are impediments to our well-being and harmony. So you can have a chemical explanation for ayahuasca, you can have a spirit medicine ayahuasca uh, explanation. I think the only explanation that actually makes any sense at all is all of them combined. People ask me uh, whether I think that ayahuasca is best taken in a ceremonial setting or let's say on your own in the comfort and safety of your living room. Uh, my bias is the ceremonial use of ayahuasca because when I think of ayahuasca, I don't just think of the fluid that gets drunk. I think of the entire application of this medicine in a ceremonial environment maximized to take you on a journey that has a beginning and a middle and an end and hopefully various parts of it that are profoundly healing. So my bias is certainly toward the ceremonial use rather than um, you know mixing it up in your kitchen and sitting in your lazy boy and kind of checking out the interior stars. Ayahuasca is not a party drug. You can take MDMA in a social setting with music going and have a lively and wonderful experience. I think if you try to do that with ayahuasca, it's going to go terribly wrong. <laughs> really bad. Um, one question that I've been asked is, how does ayahuasca compare with MDMA? Think of MDMA as a very pleasing ride in a hot air balloon, sort of overlooking a verdant landscape. And think of ayahuasca as a luge run off of the face of Mount of Everest, um, you know, surfing the waves at Jaws. I mean, you know, trying to outswim a tsunami. Ayahuasca is gigantic. Ayahuasca is an immense medicine. It's extremely powerful. Uh, if you take a, a real ceremonial dose. And it can take you to other worlds in a heartbeat, many, many dimensions, places you can't even imagine, to the absolute possible limit of your body and mind and spirit and everything that you can endure in that space at that moment. It'll take you right absolutely to the screaming edge or to the, you know, the limitless joy edge where you just can't handle any more joy than that. So ayahuasca is really, it's kind of the King Kong of of psychedelics. As far as I can figure from any reasonable parameters of considering something, ayahuasca is the most powerful, broadly beneficial medicine on earth. Um, I think that it uh, opens us up in remarkable ways. It uh, detoxifies us mentally, physically, emotionally. It's got a thoroughness that I've never ex experienced or seen with any other kind of medicine of any sort whatsoever. Um, the healings that I've witnessed in people by the hundreds over the last eight or more years or so 
are remarkable and very broad and diverse and can't be limited to a single category of health needs. Uh, this is a big, big, big thing. And if we really pay attention to its traditional use, I think we'll glean a lot of very important information about this, both in terms of maximizing the potency of the brew, but also the actual structure of ceremonial use and how that is applicable in, in therapeutic settings that we're currently, you know, uh, I mean, therapeutic applications that we're currently aware of and ones we aren't aware of yet. This is the big medicine. That's why it's called La Medicina, the medicine. Specifically with veterans with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, what I've seen uh, is that individuals who come to ayahuasca usually do so after they've tried a whole bunch of VA drugs that just don't work. And often they get a greater sense of peace, a greater sense of resolution. It doesn't mean they forget the experiences they had. That's never going to take place. But the resolution of the trauma and the conflict, obviously, uh, it, it's something that starts to happen with people. Some wind up basically completely resolved, which is remarkable. Some just wind up being better able to live and, and not feel alienated and so weird and so continually disturbed and horrified and sleepless and all the stuff that happens. So yes, I think for PTSD, for veterans, this is a big medicine that needs a lot of use and a lot of examination.